Hey YouTubers, it's me, Duke, and this is a first for figures unboxing. These come about very rarely and not so often. And this time we've got something very special. Something evil. Something that you should not put on. Because if you put it on, it will take you over. Majora's Mask! So YouTubers, yes, this is Majora's Mask. I did not see this one coming. I did eye up very early on, oh god, a couple of years ago now, where they released from First for Figures a big resin statue. It was, it's like crazy money, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Oh, I think you're talking around sort of the 500 pound bracket. That kind of, you know, that's that's like what crazy money they're talking. So I settled for this. This was the next best thing. This was a 12 inch PVC statue. This is only a fraction of the price. This 12 inch PVC statue is different in the sense that it's smaller, a uh, fraction of the size as well. Yet also it's got a base and it lights up and you can also take the mask off the stand and even hang it on your wall if you just want to display it on your wall or you can just plug it in and let it light your room up on a night time. So on the front there was actually five masks that were incorporated with power infused with powers. The first one obviously was Majora's Mask as the villain. The, the, the Skull Kid was just a normal kid. You've got like Gorons and Fairies and Zoras in Zelda, so the Skull Kid was just an ordinary kid that just found the Majora's Mask from a salesman uh, that dropped it in the woods and he put it on and it's evil incarnate and he put the mask on and through no fault of his own because he was taken over, this is the iconic Majora's Mask. The other four masks, you got to play as Link as the main protagonist, we know who Link is. Young Link is the younger version of him. The first mask that you get is the Deku mask. Then you actually get to wear the Gora mask, the Zora mask, and if anyone were to get all the masks, you unlock the Fierce Deities mask, which became this unstoppable, and you could only wear in the final battle, this like adult version where you had a massive blade where you could just swing your blade and it would throw out lasers and you could just wreck Majora's Mask quite easily in the end if you were to put the effort in. But yet yeah, the others, you would get a powers of a Goron, a powers of a Zora, and powers a small little Deku himself. YouTubers, let's get this open. This is so the packaging, if we have a look on the back, there's only so many made, and this is number 7,161. The lower the number, the more value it retains. Now, if you want to get one of these First for Figures statues, you actually used to go onto the First for Figures website and they used to say, look, if you want to get the lowest number to retain the lowest value, you've got to be on, on the dot, let's say for example, three o'clock on X day, you'd have to be on there and you'd have to go onto the website. So many people would go on there that had made a pre-order. It's a week after that you put your pre-order in, you'd go on on a Friday and then you'd go right click a a approve. The first one to approve, you would get a number up to so many thousands that were made, but that used to crash the website. So I mean, it used to be a bit of a, a, a treasure hunt race with these things, but now you just kind of go on there and it's a randomizer, so you just log into your profile and click select and it randomizes your number, which is not as exciting as it used to be. But, uh, you know, you're going for the actual item, I get it. You, if you want it, it's simple, pick it up, you're going to get it. You get lucky if you get a lower number. 
So this is like, what, 7,000 something. So we've checked out the box art. It Just down the sides, um, this is like, I think it's the exclusive edition that I got. It's got all the other masks that you can get, the ones that aren't infused with powers. And then on the other side as well, it's got the other masks. I think there was a total of 25 masks on there. Now, first for figures, let's get the box open because that's what you've been waiting for. First for figures actually take so much care and consideration with the packaging that they even go to this length here. Look, a little tab to pull out. Got an official registration card. So this is Zelda Majora's Mask authenticity card. This is to show that it's authentic. It's hard to copy these. It's officially from First for Figures. It says on the back to register that you're officially licensed product to obtain the full benefit. Please go to our website, go to the authenticate section where you can enter your product number, which is found on the underside of the base. The authenticity code can be found on the reverse side of this card. First for figures. This isn't where it ends. Pull this off. And then <laughs> another in a box. Got the trusty knife. Let's get the paper off. So here it is. Jorah's mask still in box. We'll, we'll open it, but I just wanted you to appreciate the packaging that goes into these things. The experience is unboxing, and this is why we've come here. So let's have a look on the so back. It, it describes here um, what the actual product can do. It says here the eyes and base have two LED functions. So I believe from looking at like trailers of this when I first, when we were first looking at getting to buy one, one is where it just lights up as normal, you leave it on, and then I believe, I think it might be a faded one, or it might come on and come off like it was looking at you from the dark. And then it says the base of five LED interchanging colors, so that'll go five different ways. And apparently it says here you can change the eyes LED mode by a hand gesture in front of the mask, a bit like John Cena. You can't see and me. And then again, like I mentioned earlier, it's wall mountable, but I won't be wall mounting it. It's got a gun stand to have that full Jorah's mask creepiness vibe. The evil's coming out. And here we are. Check this. This is Majora's Mask. This is the base, and then I'll pull the tabs out in just a second and we'll see it in action. But it just literally either sits on the base, and there you go, voila. So I'm just getting a feel for the actual detail on the mask, if you can see inside. Like, it's not, you know, yes, it's uh, PVC, but the detail and the textures on it are so, this is where First for Figures comes in, it's so to a point, it feels, it feels old, it feels worn, but at the same time it feels powerful and just so, anyone that's not a Zelda fan is probably looking at this and going, what the fuck is that, but this, this is like, you might as well geek out, like 100%, 110%. This is where it's at. YouTubers, let's see what this is like in action. Okay, here it is in action after that little montage. And as you can see, the base is lit up. 
the eyes are lit up and the base has got two LED modes. One is just a basic base where it just lights up blue and stays blue and the alternative is what we mentioned as you can see it's lighting up green and it fades and then lights up five different colors which makes it more interesting overall now, as you can see it's lights a little up if we do a hand gesture and swipe it over its lights fade and it's got slightly a dimmer look that's gonna fucking creep you out in the dark so if you hand gesture it it seems as though the lights will alternate between lighting up massively and bright and lighting up partially faded let's get a look at it with the lights out so this is as dark as I can get the room during the day but this is what it looks like lit up let's do some hand gestures put them out look at that how creepy is that evil incarnate Majora's Mask. What an absolute beauty of horrificness. So YouTubers, if you enjoyed this unboxing, I'm glad that you did. These come once in uh, more than a blue moon, I'm afraid. These are very unique statues that you can only purchase on First for Figures website. I will leave a link down in the description below so you can go check out their statues and see what you like. If you've got a bit of cash to spend, go down there, they do all sorts. If you're a big Nintendo fan, they do things like Metroid Prime, obviously Legend of Zelda. If you're a Sega fan, Sonic. They've recently got licensing for Gears of War products on there if you're an Xbox fan. And if you're a PlayStation fan, um, in the past few years they've got Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, there's there's a bunch of stuff on there. And I even believe for your, you hardcore fans, they've got Dark Souls on there as well. So yeah, go check that website out. YouTubers, if you enjoyed this content, go down there and smash that like button. Let's destroy that YouTube algorithm together. And if you're new to this channel, scroll on over to the other side. Hit that subscribe button if you want future content from this channel. And if you want notifications as to when those go live, just go over there and tap that notification bell. YouTubers, I'm Duke. Peace out.